Hello Barbarians, Exile Nile here, and today we're going to be changing it up a little bit with the video. This video is going to be for the server admins out there and uh, single player people that like to play around with the admin panel. I'm going to be going through the admin panel and showing you what each thing does or what the major things do at least. Uh, if you're not interested in the admin panel, you might just want to look around just to know what they're capable of. Just just to see if you ever want to go into single player mode and try a more creative style game, kind of like Minecraft creative mode, but Conan. Uh, Alright, so let's get started with the admin panel here. It's right there when you have access to it. This is in single player mode right now, but this is also how it appears when you're running a server. Alright, so first up, we have add levels and add feet. You can add XP or just go by put the character right to a direct level. Alright, that's pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, cloak makes you undetectable to enemies because sometimes even if you set uh, when you spawn humanoids, sometimes the humanoids will still spot you so cloak kinda solves that. Invisibility doesn't always work on humanoids I've found but if you have both going you're pretty well set. Uh, no sprint cost, that's pretty obvious. Ghost is what you use a lot, and Ghost allows you to fly and go through objects. Walk puts you back on the ground to deactivate Ghost. You can't just click it twice, you gotta go back over to Walk. Teleport, uh, let me show you Teleport. Let me turn on Ghost here, and then I will show you what Teleport does. Teleport is very fun and has a lot of potential for cool stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna be pointing towards this mountain. With I'm gonna be facing the mountain and I'm going to go into the admin panel and click teleport and it'll teleport me to the service I'm looking at. Now here's an important note. When you teleport, if you don't click ghost right after, you will just continue falling either to your death or off the map. So you always got to click ghost immediately after you teleport. And also note that teleport causes a lot of lag because you have to render all the new area instantly. So that's why there's a lot of lag here. Alright, there we go, and I've teleported to where I was looking at. How cool is that? I love that. That's one of my favorite ones for sure. Alright. Let's see. Show states. Uh, I don't really use this, but it'll show what state an AI is in. Like, uh, if it's in an aggressive state, or if it's in a passive state, or in the future maybe even sleeping state, something like that. Demigod prevents you from most sources of damage, and in my experience, it does not protect you from fall damage. So that's notable. Print XP, uh, that's pretty cool. It gives the game kind of a, I kind of feel it gives it a more MMO feel when the XP is showing up each time you do something, so I kind of like that. Eating on, eating off, that's pretty basic. Turns on or off your need to eat. And same with hungry and thirsty. This adds food to your character. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. All right, my food and water are very low up here. So let me go in here and I will add a little water and add a little food. And there you go, full up, pretty cool. Alright, back to the admin panel. Uh, teleport, this teleports you to different specific locations around the map. So let's see here, let's go to D East. Alright, there we go. I can't seem to move. Uh oh, oh there we are. Oh. Okay, so this also applies with the ghost thing. You're going to want to hit ghost immediately after this. See, now I'm under the map and drowning in the water under the map. So let's swim out here. Alright, and let's see what's next. Uh, basically all the different teleports are just different locations. Uh, I'll leave that for you to explore. Teleport to Sandstorm. Let's see if there's one active. Ah, there's no Sandstorm right now. What this will do is it'll teleport you right to the middle of the Sandstorm. So that's pretty cool if you just want to check it out. It's not really useful otherwise. Uh, change length. Okay, you can change the length of the day and night cycles. So if you only want the whole day and night to be 10 minutes, you can do that if you want. Uh, set time of day, that's pretty self-explanatory. I like to use these ones just to change the time of day real quick without having to type anything in. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, freeze sky, that doesn't freeze time, but it does freeze the sun, moon, and stars. So that's not entirely useful for anything, but 
I don't know, maybe if you're having some kind of marathon and you want it to stay just the same. Ooh, maybe you're filming and want the sun and lighting to be in the same position the whole time. Uh, unfreeze sky, freeze time. Now, this is interesting because freeze time stops time from passing but does not stop the sky. And then here we have unfreeze time. All right, then. Let's move on into the spawning here. This is kind of fun stuff. Uh, let me go to the ground for this. All right, I'm going to turn on walk. Nope, and I still got the swimming animation. Excellent. We're just going to do the whole video with the swimming animation. Don't let it derail you. Okay, moving on, spawn humanoids. Let's see, I always like to turn them to passive just so they're not trying to kill me. But then basically it's pretty self-explanatory. You can go through and spawn whatever you want. There's a whole bunch of options in there. Uh, that whole clip is just going to have to be shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, there's that. Alright, new scene here. Uh, I tried to do the last scene, but when I spawned the humanoids, I didn't have cloak enabled, so they killed me immediately. And that's interesting. Oh, oh time to cloak again. Oh, there we go. That guy was coming after me. Okay, so, spawn humanoids uh, basically gives you all your humans, but it has other things in here, like the avatars. I'm not going to spawn any of them, because spawning the avatars through this panel right now is very strange. Like... Two of them show up as Yogg, and then the set is just your normal giant snake. It's very strange right now. I wouldn't recommend it. They get really glitchy. I had to remake my entire game because of one of them. So basically, you got all your humanoids in there. It's pretty exciting, fun stuff. You can spawn, you know, exactly what you need to add to your base in case you're tired of looking for it. You know, you can spawn exactly what you need to catch. Uh, creatures, you got all your creatures in there. That's pretty exciting. That's what I use for a lot of stuff. Uh... Down here is the behavior, and now you gotta click this before you click on the creature to spawn, because as soon as you click on the creature, it'll spawn immediately. So you definitely have to go down to behavior and choose what you want it to be. If you want it just to be normal, leave it on default, obviously, but there's plenty of other options. Passive is what I like to leave it on for shooting videos and stuff, so the creatures never attack back and mess up my tests, you know? And down here, this is Modify Spawned NPCs. So this is after they are already spawned. And you can change them to 1 health, 100 health, or whatever plus 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 health means. Uh, kill all spawned NPCs in case things get a little out of control during your testing. You know, you don't want to doom your whole server with a couple undead dragons you spawned by accident. So here's a kill switch for anything you spawn. Let's go ahead and hide this. Player list, it shows, oh, okay, well... I'm going to have to cut that bit out because I just showed my entire Steam ID and everything. Can't have that, right? All right, anyway. Resources, it's got all your basic blocks. Here you can enter a quantity and you can choose multiple things. So say I want two of each of them and then I just spawn it. Uh, there's gear in here, all the gear in the game. Uh, building equipment. And if you search something, let's say right now I'm in the building tab, right? So I'm going to search for a let's say long sword nothing's gonna come up so you have to be in the right tab for the searches it's kind of a pain but that's how it is for right now uh, let's see so then there's this other tab with all your other random items and I do believe that just about covers up the admin panel uh, I'm gonna be going into a couple more admin things I got one more video planned for the admin series and I think the next one's gonna be pretty cool but I hope that helps you guys out, and you definitely should share this with all your admins because you don't want them just going blind into the admin panel and screwing the whole server up, which can definitely happen in here. You don't want untrained admins anywhere near this panel. Everyone needs to know what they're doing. All right, exiles. Until next time.